to each one of you. This is the Naomi Talk Show with you truly, Liz Kenya and Kama Kawaida. I'm almost calling it a tradition. Our culture is to appreciate, to appreciate each one of you that has chosen to become part of the big family that we are becoming at the Naomi Talk Show. All thanks to you for choosing to share, to like, and even to subscribe to our content. Asante ni sana. Of course, I want to appreciate the people that have made this work possible, and that is the One God TV crew. They work tirelessly to make sure that we have these stories airing, produced, and the editing, and all the work that goes into it. And trust you me, is a lot of work involved. I want to say asante ni sana, 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 and may the Lord bless you. So today, as you can see, we have something here. We have a cake, lakini ngoja kwanza, hatuta kuambia ni anini. Today we have a parent, a parent to a special needs child. Do you know what it takes to parent a special child? Do you know, you know, sometimes the emotions that come with it when you're parenting a special needs child? Now you've got to sit back, relax and enjoy and learn because this is a place you're going to learn how through the journey our guest is going to take us to to parent a special needs child. Karibu sana. Santi. Can you introduce yourself? My name is uh, Faith Nyambura Njoroge. Mm -hmm. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. Mm -hmm. And I'm a baker. Mm. Yes. So already asha to my leakage. <laughs> asha sema kuna leakage. So hii ni baada ya kazi sherehe. Mm. Lakini kwanza tunaenda pale kwa parenting. Mm -hmm. You have this child that we we want to hear more how their parenting need is because we believe there is more yeah. into taking care of them that goes into it. Mm -hmm. But let's go back to when you conceived this baby. Mm -hmm. How was that journey? Was it different? But I mean, how was it for you? Okay. So um, my second born child mm. has autism. Mm. Um, so the pregnancy, it was not something new because I already had another child before. Mm. Um, and the pregnancy was pretty normal, mm. though I had uh, a bit of high blood pressure mm. that comes with uh, pregnancy. Mm. But it was just a normal pregnancy. Mm. But uh, I remember I exceeded the, the gestational period and the doctor was worried. The 40 weeks? Yeah, the uh -huh. doctor was worried and she started calling me, uh, telling me I'm worried, why, why are you taking so long and all that. And she could encourage me, take walks, do what and everything. And I remember I had a shop. Mm. And you know, this advice you give each other. Mm. So I was being told, take a lot of soda. And I could take a oh. lot of soda, you know, Fanta. No, wait, what? okay, why the soda? <laughs> it will trigger labor. Is it so? That's what I used to be told. Okay, that's a new one. Yes. <laughs> So um, I took a lot of soda, mm. which is not, you know, also good. And the walks were not very, they were terrible because I was living in Mombasa then. Mm. And Mombasa mm. is very hot and humid and I was really swollen. That's now, by the time uh, I, was, I was due, I was very swollen and all that. Nothing happened. I was given castor oil mm. by the doctor. I took a whole bottle. Nothing happened. Yes. Sasa hapa tusha kunyo soda. Yes. Haijasa idea. Mm -hmm. Cast oil was also supposed to trigger. Yeah, to trigger labor. It's medicinal. Again, yeah. something I also didn't do. Yes, it, it, I, I got from a chemist. The, it mm. was prescribed. I went, I got it from a chemist. Okay. Nothing happened. Mm. So the doctor told me, now I have to book you in. Mm. We have to induce you. So I packed my bags, I went, uh, I was admitted to hospital, and I was induced for a whole day, mm. and nothing was happening. Okay. So I remember now late in the night, that's when the doctor herself came mm. and broke the water herself and everything. So, and you know, I'm, I've been induced and nothing is happening and all that. But say you were waking up? I am 40 something. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, so the baby was big mm -hmm. and the baby had to be induced. Mm -hmm. He had to be induced and he didn't cry. 
He was blue and he was born and he did not cry, but they worked on him and everything. And he was okay. And he was a big baby. And actually, the, the second or the third day, I was, di I was discharged from hospital. Mm -hmm. There were no complications, no issue whatsoever. And he went home and the baby was really feeding well and he was growing. He was really adding weight, you know. He was really adding weight. And, you know, like 500 grams. Yeah. You know, when you grow, he's just adding weight and all that. And, you know, being... Um, you know, we got him the, the, the vaccine package, I remember. Mm -hmm. That one which had, I don't know, they, they used to be told it's a package, and we pay for, I don't know, five or six packages, I know, know, five or I six know. vaccines, <laughs> and all that. And we paid for him and everything. Mm. But he started turning color. This is around what age? Now he's about four months. Mm. That time we didn't used to do exclusive breastfeeding up to six months. Yeah. That time there was in that story. Yeah, and actually him, mm. he was he used to breastfeed so much mm -hmm. that we just had to, and he was a, such a big baby, we had to start introducing foods to him and everything. Mm. So he started becoming yellowish, the skin, the color and everything. Oh. And I remember when we took him to hospital, I was told I'm feeding him a lot of um, pumpkin and carrots yes i was okay. told that can discolor the baby or something okay. like that so we we took it easy mm. on that and started introducing other foods and all that then we also noticed by the fifth month mm. that when you know when you lift up a baby yes. to stand yes. instead of the feet being flat like mm. this mm. the feet would or his turn. feet would like knock no, not not, not not the knees, uh. the f the foot itself uh. down here. Uh. It wouldn't be straight like this. It uh. would turn outward. Oh. He wouldn't step uh. facing yes, the, like that. So that was another problem but again. But the knees were strong. The knees were strong. He uh. was a huge baby. He's uh. strong. He's big and everything. And he can he has the strength to stand. But now there, instead of now the feet being straight like this, they were turning uh. outward. So we went to hospital, we were referred to a physiotherapist. Mm. When we went to the physiotherapist, he plastered his feet. So he, he, he may, uh, put them the right way and mm. plastered them up to here, up to above the knees. What? Yes, he was plastered so that now the feet... And then he told us, when you come back and these feet are not normal, we'll have to operate him. Mm. We have to, I don't know, to correct him. They were calling it a little tally piece, very, I can't remember. Mm. So we went home. And when you were home, that's when again, um, by that time, he had started developing some uh, speech. Mm. He could say, mom, he could say, th there was something coming out. Yeah. He was, so everything else was normal mm. at that particular moment. Then... Still, when he's still having those plasters and all that, uh, one day I was just holding him, he started convulsing. Oh. Convulsions, what? And he didn't have a fever? He had a fever. Okay. But I, I, I you know, first of all, Mombasa is hot and all that. Yeah. And again, you, you don't think the fever will progress so fast. Maybe mm -hmm. just slight mm -hmm. fever, maybe he's having mm -hmm. whatever. So we rushed to hospital. He was treated, we came home, we were told it's just the fever that was so high, mm -hmm. that's why he convulsed and all that. Mm -hmm. But I think that month, I don't know, we went to hospital twice or thrice. Mm -hmm. So it became a normal occurrence. He was getting a lot of uh, convulsions. We were calling them febrile convulsions. And it's very scary. So, okay, these convulsions that he's getting very frequently, they are also being accompanied by fevers. High yeah, fevers. yeah, he has high fevers. Each of them. Each of them. And when we go, we are put on antibiotics. Mm. We are put on what? And they can't really tell what the problem is because we are treated, everything, whatever. Actually, the time at Mombasa Hospital, they used to tell us, oh, polem Merudi. It's like they knew we were coming back. We are coming back. There's a place that we, we have to be admitted all the time, all the time. Until it got to a time that uh, we sought a second opinion. We decided, mm. let's change hospitals. Mm. We were referred to a certain specialist who had a, 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 a children's hospital. And then we went, she said, uh, after examining him, 
She said he has uh, septic adenoids, that they were so bad they had turned septic. So they're the ones that were causing the that fevers. Now, so the, the, that's why the infection, I think, was not going away or something. Mm. And of course, when the infection is there, the, the temperature rises yeah. and he convulses. Mm. So he had an operation to remove the adenoids. adenoids. And, and, and now th things like cool down a bit. Yeah. Meanwhile, again, now we still have the issue of the feet. Mm -hmm. So we went back to the physiotherapist. He removed the. So you can imagine this child is convulsing. Nakona plasters. Nakona plasters, migu. Nakona. You know, it's a time when you don't even know that you're coming or you're going. You know, you lose, you lose sense. But that's a very strong boy. Yeah. Mm. You lose sense. And the beauty, we thank God. You know, God has a way of just making up for something. Mm. The beauty with him, he could eat, even in hospital, mm. wherever. If, so long as the, 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 he's not convulsing, mm. he could really eat so well and everything. And that helped him because now he could, yeah. uh, you know, he could handle the medicine, everything is going through and everything. So when we went, he was removed the plasters. When the doctor looked at his feet, he said, um, now we have to operate. Mm. We have to operate. I don't know when he started scheduling us for where, when we are going for surgery to correct the legs. And like, yeah, okay, we'll go. You know, you were supposed now to go to, you know, after you've talked to the doctor, you're supposed to go to the reception and mm. book and everything. So I'm seeing my hubby is there going, I told, I told him there's nothing like that. He's not having an operation. Mm. Leave this doctor alone. There's nothing like that. And you went home. And uh, of course, I said, I had faith. Are you going with the plasters? Or the no, they've moved? been removed uh, now. Uh, uh. And you know, especially being in coast and the, the plasters and everything. I think he had been put imagine. twice. Is it twice? I think, I don't know, after two, he was removed, he was put others. Mm. So you can imagine the heat and yeah. the everything. So again, we go home. And now this time, I, do, I can't tell what irritates this baby. Mm. This baby at times gets so irritated. He can cry hours on end, you know. Mm -hmm. So you, at times you just don't have peace. Even at night, at times he doesn't sleep during the night and everything. And I'm wondering now what is wrong because I have another child. Yes, I have another. My my my, my other child was around four five years, mm. and we didn't go through this. So I'm wondering what is going on with this particular child and everything. So we continued. But now it came to a point now when he started standing. And, and what I did now, my cousins used to come. You know, when you live in coast, everybody wants to come to your place for the holidays and all that. Mm. So my cousins and some other people used to come to visit. So I told them, if you want to come to my place, I want you to, to tembeza my baby so that my baby walks. That's the only work I need you to do to make sure he's walking and all that. So uh, he was late at around uh, almost one year mm. that's when he could stand he started mm. standing using uh, supporting himself on tables and stools but when he started now taking the step instead of walking front he started walking backward yes oh okay it, what i know is kunawala mm. wakitamba they make a backward move i've mm. not heard of mm -mm. he didn't even tamba he didn't crawl he didn't yeah. have that at all at all so Akisimama? Akisimama, not unless now he's, but now when he's on his own, mm. which is weird, he's walking backward. Yeah. He's walking backward. You have to prompt him to go. And then when he falls down, mm. he can't stand. And he's this chubby baby. He's big and strong. He can't stand. He has issues, I don't know, folding. I don't know if it's the weight or the what. He's not able to stand up. Mm. So you have to Maybe. lift him up. You have to support him. Mm for him to stand up and everything and all that. So I thought it's the issue of the, the plastering mm. and everything and all that. So, and then again, I also noticed this baby now, cause he's walking, he's getting fascinated. He stands next to a wall and then you start seeing he's following. He follows until his eyes go that way. He's following the wall. He follows the wall again, you know, strange games. That's, mm. uh, he'll be there for hours. Just there, like that space. He's up there. He goes. He comes back. He goes. And I was like, here, there's an issue. Mm. I can't really tell what is happening, but I could tell we have a problem. Mm. In the meantime, because of him not being able to wake up and all that, we had started going now for therapy. Mm -hmm. we, we, we started going for therapy at uh, Georgetown Hospital. Mm. 
they started doing him therapy and everything because of now the way he couldn't wake up on his own and everything. Hey, until now it came to a point, uh, I, we said we come to Nairobi. Somebody mentioned uh, something like autism, roughly, but I was like, I mean, what is that? So at this time, mm. how old is this young man? This time, he is now heading to two. And is he talking? And now, mm. all the words, he has forgotten. He has lost his speech now. Okay. I had a house girl called Consolata, mm. and he could call her la la something, something, something mm. that we could tell it's her. But now he has lost speech. So he is quiet. And then this child has no eye contact. Mm. So you're calling him Victor, Victor, Victor. You can tell he can hear you, but he's not looking at you. There's no one time. Uh, but he had it. Yes, yes. He yes. lost it. Mm. So now he can't look at you in the eye and, and all that. Mm. So I, I definitely knew something That's is going on. And I think the, the therapist that Jocham mentioned to me, told me, you look for a, 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 neu, a, neuro, a, neuro, a neurologist, mm. find out what is going on with the baby. Mm. So I booked an appointment. I came to Nairobi. I booked an appointment, and I went to see the neurologist. So the neurologist, when our time came to see him, actually, we didn't even take 20 minutes in his office. Mm. He didn't even... No, he was listening to me, but you know, the baby was there. He's yeah. seeing what the baby is doing, doing, what the baby yeah. is doing. Mm. Then he just told me, now, do you know your son has autism? Mm. Uh, he will never talk. Mm. He will never be able to learn. Mm. He will never, he, it was never, never, never. The words so, were followed by never, And blunt, never. blunt. Mm. No, that one of, like, you know. I'm telling you, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I don't know, you feel like you're going to die, you're going to, your, your legs melt. And, and he's telling me, and there's no cure. Ah. You just have to manage it, it's a condition. I don't know what to do, hey, hey, hey. I, I'd been taken by my cousin, so uh, when we got out of the office, I just had not composed myself, because now, yeah. what is this here? It's a death sentence. He's just telling you you have somebody who is walking, but somebody who is not there. Mm -hmm. I mean, this child will amount to nothing, and you know, mm -hmm. and the bluntness, you know. You know that's what I'm, the you left, That's why you left me. That's why you left me where he's just, yes. just dropping. The dropping. insensitivity. Mm -hmm. Hey, so, um, so after composing myself, I took my child. It was in Upper Hill, somewhere in Upper Hill. Then you were coming to, uh, to pick the drugs in town. Mm. I remember we went to camp pharmacy. So the drugs are for what? So mm. the drugs, uh, there was seven C's, cod mm. liver oil, mm. and there was a drug, I won't mention the mm. name. Mm. So we are seated, we are waiting to be served. And then the pharmacist calls me and asks me, whose drug is this for? Mm. I tell her it's for this baby. Mm. And I could tell the shock on her face. Then she told me, uh, go and give him half. If he becomes too calm, tomorrow you give him the half of that. If again, I'm a Tulia Sana, you... Now I was like, what is this I've been given? You know, what poison is this? Uh, let, let me ask. Mm. Uh, so besides the, the doctor just breaking the news, mm. he did not like tell you or advise you no. or push on you on how life is going to no, be no, no. for you or no. how you're going to cope? Nothing. Is you go learn on your own? Go. Just buy the drugs and give him. And, uh, and I mean like zombify him because of course he was very, very, very hyper. Mm. He was extremely hyper. Mm. I don't know. I had, he had broken like I don't know how many phones. It was crazy. When I used to come to visit Nairobi or my, my parents or somewhere else he, and then you know People, people with autism as a stick class for routine or they like sticking to the same kind yeah. of things. So yeah. when you try to change the routine, mm. it's crazy. Mm. And then they have sensory issues, you know, being touched, what, nini. Mm. So it used to be crazy. Actually, one day when I got help is when I went to visit my friend who had come to visit me in Mombasa. Mm. And she had bought bed sheets. I had taken her to buy bed sheets, which were the same like my bed sheets. Mm. And in the midst of the, the, 
the he, him throwing tantrums, mm. we went to her bedroom. Mm. And when he found it, those bed sheets, oh dear. a child calmed down, you know. Because mm. now you see now they want the same routine. And so this time when I'm not home, uh, not where he's used to, he's even more, you know, more hyper, more everywhere. He He's crying. He's what? And, it, and it's all because they, they can't process. They, they have issues. The skin is tingling, noises. Everything disorients them. Mm -hmm. If you get in a matatu, the way like now everybody's speaking, I yeah. think they hear everybody at the same time. Oh, yeah. So he, he can't process. It's crazy. So you'll see them putting their fingers in their ears and all that. Uh, I remember he, he could get out running. He's looking up in the sky and the plane would come like two minutes later. You guys did not hear the plane coming. That's how sensitive. That is how sensitive. Are. He had the plane a long time ago. So he, he got out too. So, you know, there was all that. Mm. So when I went now to my mom's place, so that I can go back to my place, mm. I told my mom and she, she prayed for me and I told her, you know, these drugs, we, we won't use them. Mm. I'll only give him the cod liver oil, the seven seeds. These other ones, mm. I think we threw them away. Yeah. And I thank God that we threw them away. Because mm. Essentially, not unless your child is over, I don't know what, it like calms their brain, Kabisa. Most, most people who use those drugs, their children, most of them are not able to learn later. Mm. They, they are not able to, there's, there's a way it just like clalishes the brain yeah. that it doesn't, whatever, you know. And, and again, it's a drug that I've seen even like in the US, they used to use on black, uh, black boys and it would give them issues in their teenagerhood mm. and all that and everything. So me, I knew I'm on my own. Mm. So uh, before I went, I before I went back, I was referred to Autism Society of Kenya. Mm. So I went to their offices in Ngara. And there, at least there I met human beings. I met people. <laughs> They've been there like, don't worry, yeah. he will be fine. See, you what? See, that yeah. alone is very Yes, comforting. already now things turned around. Mm. And so they understood they, they, they were the ones who were running the autism stream, the, the, the special needs autism stream at City Primary School. Mm. So they, I was told now he has to go on a diet because one of the things that irritates, uh, the, the, most children with autism have gut issues. They have mm. leaky gut and all that. So gluten affects them. They're affected by milk, casein in milk. They're affected by even fruits like bananas, oranges, you know, there's so much was taken from his diet. Mm. Uh, if you're eating meat, it has to be free range. Oh. Uh, if it's the oils, you have to use uh, coconut oil or this purified oil. I remember that time it was sunflower oil. There was a lot. So the intervention they gave me was dietary intervention. Mm. So they told, they, they, sh they told me what to do, how to be cooking for him, to get off all the processed foods, all that and everything. And all that, and they referred me now to a therapist in Mombasa, an occupational therapist. Mm. That is not now what my child needed, mm. an occupational therapist. So when I went, I got an occupational therapist, and uh, he came. Now he could help, and but now he told me uh, to enroll in in a school. He was uh, about three. He told me the best therapy for autistic children mm. is emulating. You mm. can't take him. He, he's not a child. You'll take for speech therapy. Mm you know, and all that, it doesn't work. So he told me occupational therapy is the best thing. Mm. So there was a small nursery school just behind where I lived and there were wonderful teachers there. Remember that time he still, he, his, the knee issue had not been sorted. Yeah, yeah. So he still could not rise up on his own and he's still on diapers. Mm. He's not toilet trained, he's, he can't speak and everything, but he's a very big boy and all that. So I took him and the, the teachers were very nice and everything. And over the weekend, the therapist would come and would tell me, this child, they only invite all the children. Mm. Put all th those, um, I remember that time it was Sedamon kids. They used to have music and all that. Mm. They keep singing and repeating and all that. That's the only way mm. it will trigger him to do the same. If it's uh, the things for triggering speech, like blowing balloons and all that, let it be a group activity mm. with the other children. So that's what we continued doing and all that. And within no time, I think he could now started uh, oh. folding his uh, legs. He could stand on his own and everything. Mm. But he was still very antisocial. You know, mm. he he didn't get the he couldn't socialize. He couldn't and and talking and and irritate, getting irritated and all that and everything. And it became so difficult. You can't go to church with him. Mm. 
you can't, you know, do all those things and everything. I even took him now to another school, now a bigger school. Mm. And is they, this, a, this school, mm. is it a special needs uh, school? No, no, Am no. I, it's just a... It was just a... And, and that one, the first one was like a, a, just the, an estate school. Mm. And the second one also. Because mm. I actually didn't know any special needs school in mm. Mombasa and at that time. And you know you're still in denial. I'm trying to... Do you know it. you're still... And you know... Uh, you're still praying and hoping I'll wake up and this is not real. Mm. I'll wake up and this child, will, all these things will stop. Mm. So actually, you'll offend me if you start telling me about special needs school. Yeah. I'll get offended mm. because, I mean, God is healing this baby. I mean, he'll be okay. He will learn. Mm. I mean, he's young. He's three. Mm. I mean, he's going to learn and everything. So by the time we moved to Nairobi, he mm. was four now. And again... I enrolled him in a school with him where we used to stay. And the sad thing is, I was charged extra. Yes, because they told me they have a special needs uh, teacher mm. and everything. And since now my child has extra care to be, you yeah. know, he needs to be taken care of, I have to pay extra. Mm. What do you do? I paid extra. But now, I started getting worried and, and now we had adjusted the whole family mm. diet wise no because you know you can't so no more chapatis yeah. no more what no more you know if you have to take something hot it's black cocoa actually he can't take even drinking chocolate because it has milk so can you add sugar to it no oh no sugar okay no what you know if you have to buy f f fish if it's chicken ni kienyeji. Ki kienyeji, kienyeji the baby queen. cannot eat kienyeji and all that and everything so, but now you'll do anything for the child yeah. to be okay mm. in everything. And I have another child. Mm. And this other child, I, before you can remember, he was the first child. Yes. You buy him sweets, you mm. buy him what, you buy him what. Actually, when he moved to Nairobi, my mother called me. She told me, do you know you've neglected this child? She could tell. It's true now because you're wild. Actually, I think even Habi, your world revolves around this child. So, I had not to make time when I go somewhere with a child and I buy him the things we don't buy in the house. Yeah. I, I let him take a soda. You know, a child is still a child. Have that. Because now things are too much. Mm. So, this new school where I took my child, they used to call me, uh, Mama Victor, uh, tomorrow, or oh, Siju, when we are having this and we are preparing, do you mind Victor staying home? Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. We stay again. Another <laughs> need. Mama Victor, uh, we are having this. Mm. Do you mind Victor staying home? And I was like, okay. Why am I paying? Oh, so Victor is a nuisance. You're saying they are special teachers. You're saying all this. Why do I have to keep withdrawing him mm. from school? Mm. Because some things are happening. Imagine. So I decided to go. I don't know what am I going to do. I don't know that I... I take a not a birthday cake. I don't know what I'd, I'd gone to do in school. Mm. I went. I found the teacher is with the other children and they are learning. My son, there's a carpet there at the corner with toys. He has been put there at the corner with toys and the rest are learning and reading and everything. Mm -mm. So I decided, no, this cannot. I mean, he'd rather even stay home with the house girl. I mean, what, what, what is the, what is the point? More. And I'm paying more. And I'm paying more. So at this time, I already knew there was an autism school, mm. a, a school with an autism unit. Mm. But now the proximity was the issue because it was in town. So, the, you know, these are schools within the estate. So, and, and there's no transport and all that. And so I knew that there has to be a sacrifice of how you're going to be taking this child to school and how you're going to... Actually, it's a public school mm. with, a, with a stream, with a special needs teachers and all that. Mm. So me, I made that decision. I decided I am taking... Actually, my husband used to work away from home that time. Mm. And that was a decision I made on my own because I got so hurt. I was like, now, at this one, it doesn't matter. Whatever it takes, mm. I have to find a way of taking this child to school and I went there, they assessed him what ni, 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 and they told me you go bring him mm. and so we enrolled him in city primary autism unit mm. that time he was uh, about six mm -hmm. about six, yeah around five, six there 
So I took him. And the beauty with now the, 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 that place, they had occupational therapists, mm. they had special needs teachers, mm. and they had minders. Mm. So um, in a class of maybe 30 or 40, there are three, four minders, yeah. and there's the teacher. Mm. And when my child gets so worked up, they will remove him mm. and take him to the occupational therapy mm. room where the occupational therapist will work on him because there are sensory issues. Yes. So at times you get irritated, somebody, he, they'll understand whatever he'll be done and everything so that he can calm down and go and then he's put back to, mm. to the class. And then they had now the diet there. Mm. The same diet had been given at Autism Society of Kenya, now they were enforcing it there. Mm. So at lunchtime they could eat all those uh, autism friendly foods and everything. So it was a sacrifice because you had to be there you have to beat the jam and take him, mm. and then you have to be there exactly at three to, to pick, him, pick up, him up, to pick him up and everything. So that one, you see it even affects you as a person. There, there is no career, there is no job who will employ you and uh, you have, you know, those crazy hours and everything. So you have to find your own way, how you're going. It is crazy when you have to go with a mat. Be but, but, but let me ask you, mm. you didn't think of engaging an extra hand? in helping you to carry this weight because it's quite i had a house a girl task. Uh -huh. i had a house girl but now mm. um this is your child yes you're not understanding mm. so even these house girl what do they understand mm. and then you know house girls they mean well by the way i really thank god because i've had very nice house girls actually i had one i stayed with her for is it nine years mm -hmm. the, she wants to please me because i remember like uh because of those sensory issues, mm. uh, shaving was an issue. Mm. You know, that buzzing and all that. I think it used to make him feel pain or whatever. Mm. And he could tell me that, so they go and they mm. come back. Mm. And she tells me that things are okay and everything. Mm. But the barber shop was at the gate of the estate. Mm. So one day those girls called me. He mm. told me, Mama Victor, which you have Victor Ulia. You know, they gave <laughs> they gave me the, the experience, mm. what happens, you know, when he's taken. Mm. But you know that the girl wants to please me, wants to show yeah. me the way, you know, and she's doing. And probably you some yes. of those, those duties yes. so that you can have some good time yes. with the other child. With the other child yeah. and all that. So uh, she meant well and all that. And I had, and I thank God that I had her. Mm. And you know, when, the, when, when, um, when he was younger, uh, I don't know, he, he, I could get help. You know, when someone is younger, a, a younger child is easier to manage. No matter mm. how, yes, no matter how, because you understand is a mm. child mm. than an adult, mm. than an adult, mm. according to me. So yeah. then I had a house girl. Actually, I, I am so lucky I have not had very many house girls, mm. actually. Because I think when I came to Nairobi, I had like three, mm. and then one who I've stayed with for like nine years, mm. until when I said, you know. I, I don't have a, uh, to have a house girl anymore. Mm. So we are on this journey of city primary. So I was saying, if you use transport, public means, yeah. I am telling you, it is crazy. Mm. I feel sorry for parents. Because yeah. this child will scream, will throw tantrums in the matatu. Everybody is not understanding. If somebody is eating chips in the matatu, he will grab. He will grab somebody's phone. He will. He doesn't understand. You know, mm. he's, he... he, he He's not understanding all that and it's and even when you're walking on the streets he will he can just if you 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 just let go kidogo mm. that child can disappear and you'll not know mm. where to find them and everything so i really thank god for that choice i made it was a quite a sacrifice mm. to make sure that i'm taking him there and everything but i can tell you after two months mm. my child was potty trained got off the diapers wow yes he got off the diapers mm. and the diet was working. Mm. I could tell that he was uh, coming down mm. a little bit and everything. But I'm telling you, it used to be crazy. I remember there's a time I caused jam because I can't find him. Because mm. he can't answer you. He's not talking to you. Yeah. You're using the mirror to check for the child. You can't see the child. Kumbe, he's amengia, chini ya kiti na uko. So I'm like, did I forget to pull child lock? And he opened and he fell, you know? So it was a journey and uh, 
I really thank God for it saved me because I know most parents you have to go to Kenyatta, you have to go to where for therapy and all that. Now that place became my one stop. Mm. And, the, and the only thing they used to complain to us parents is that during the holidays, we used to reverse the gains. Because mm. when he come home, we, he comes yeah. for the holidays, I give him chapati, I give him fries, I yeah. give him what. So by the time he's going back, going he back is a hyper like nothing. <laughs> so, um, it continued and he had incidents actually there's one day he even and then things started working mm. he could even start riding a bike he was taught how to ride a bike mm. he learned you know a guy you thought he couldn't ride a bike mm. and one day and i talked to the estate watchman and i'd explain to them never if you ever see this child here mm. Mm. so one day i don't know what happened they didn't notice him with a bicycle oh. ali toka oh. do you know Alisimamishwa na matatu ya forward. Matatu ya forward here and him with a bike. Yani God has these children. Head on, Ivy. Mm. But those are some of the things we've gone through. By the time he was seven, mm. do you know Victor could write? Write? Yes. Wow. He started writing. Mm. So I was like, what do you mean you can write? He comes home, he has homework, you know those ones of... Uh, there was like a space in the center and everything. Mm. Yeah, he started, he started, and he could read. His so pronunciation, he speech. yeah, he has speech, mm. but I don't know what I can call. There's a word I forgot. The way he's talking, you uh, you have to be used to him to understand what he's saying. But mm. he's saying that word. Mm. So my child, but he can't speak still. Mm. And can he give you now the eye contact that we have been looking for? At times, okay. At times he can look at so you, but he can. He can write, he started writing, mm. he started writing Kiswahili, he started writing, even oh. doing math, and he was very good in math. Oh. He started becoming very good in, and he'll tell you. Mm. And, 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 and I really thank God for that and everything. So, um, at the end of the year, he called me mom. Yeah, but you see, it is one word, but he will say mom. Mm. So, the journey, in school at least, the journey was good. Mm. The school... Because they, they, they were taking care of that and everything. Yeah. And at home, we are really trying and all that. But he's still, you know, he wants to watch cartoon the whole day. Mm. He doesn't have the social interaction. And on the home front also, now you start becoming isolated. Mm. Because only few family members will understand you. Yeah. Only few friends will understand you. Because mm. the things like, I mean, Kwani, it's only about Because even if you hear, hear friends like, ah, that one every time see your stories, I'm Toto Ake, you know. People get tired of you, and I think even as a parent, you also like I'm tired, because I was tired of making excuses. Because we used to go like I remember, like we used to go for shopping. This one day we went for shopping in the supermarket. Then when we were getting out. They used to put trolleys outside the supermarket, mm. and there there was a ramp. Mm. So he pushed the trolleys. Mm. Then we met another <laughs> old man there. That old man made noise at me. Lecturing you properly. Lecturing me on how I have spoiled my child. Own oh, house, you what? You know, and it got to a point. And you know, there you, you always used to explain. You know, mm. explaining to people. Oh no, I, it is this, and they won't understand. Mm. It got to a point that now even you, it's it's weighing on you. It is weighing on you as a parent. It got to a point. I'm like, you know what? Think what you want. Mm. By the way, think what you want now, because mm. I had explained. I had gotten to a point, it, you know. You, you actually, your heart got used to it. Yeah, your attention, you're yeah. getting no problem. No, you know, because now we move. Because already there is stress. Because even if you're hearing, we are, we are progressing, he's doing yeah. that. And I thank God for that. He, he's still hyper. He's still, mm. there, there's a lot going on in every, he doesn't, he doesn't sleep at night. He does sleep only two hours at night. For, for faith, mm. before you even progress. Mm. Were you having a place where you would, you know, offload the emotions because no. definitely you, you must have had your own meltdown no, moments. No, 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 no. So how, how are you managing your meltdown? I don't know. And it take, took a toll on me later. Yeah. It did. I did not have a place where I was offloading because mm. you have to be strong all the time. You what? have to act tough. When you go to church, he starts. Mm. He puts his hands in his fingers. For a long time, I never used to go with him to church. Mm. Then I started saying, ah, let me try, let me and we go with the house girl. Then we used to go and then we they go to Sunday school mm. with the house girl mm. or they go outside or something. Mm. So one day after Sunday school, after church, I can't 
find him. I can't find him. I can't find my house girl. Oh dear. So me, I'm looking for them. Mm. I am wondering exactly what happened. Then my mother called me. My mother used to live in the same neighborhood, ah. but still a stretch. She told me, "Ah, don't worry. Victor is here." Mm. So I'm like, "Why is Victor here?" No, they came because <laughs> because he fell in the sewage. <laughs> so I'm telling you, and I'm like, "Okay, why didn't you come to get me?" Because mm. it was like uh, almost a kilometer. They walked a kilometer in wet clothes and. Mm. So I think there was a sewage when the church was new. There was a place with a sewage and all that, and he went and fell there. You know, there are times you feel like you, I don't know, your heart just breaks in, and you're like, no. And you have nowhere. Every time you're to waiting, you, you, you're waiting. Now what will happen? Now what will happen? Mm. And then now I, I, I started talking to people like, you have another child. It will have, it will make things easy and all that and everything. So I was like, how? And then I, I got another baby. Mm. I got another baby. At that time, Vita was uh, six. Mm -hmm. And how old was the first one now? The first one now, th this time, was ten. Because mm. we have a difference of four years. And he's now starting to understand and appreciate? No, let me tell you. Mm. For, for siblings, mm. the elder sibling and the younger sibling mm. have different experiences. Mm. My firstborn... His experience, now he's an adult and mm. he loves his brother to beats and everything. Mm. But he couldn't talk, but now I feel he's, he was challenged because mm. he got a brother. Mm. But his brother was broken mm. because he was not like the other brothers. Like mm. the, when this brother came, uh, privileges were taken away. No more this, no more that, no more going to places and everything and all that. Mm. That was his, his experience. Mm. If he loves him. But that was his experience. Yeah. I mean, what is wrong with this child? Mm. But now my younger boy, mm. him, his experience is totally different. Oh. Because this is my brother. This is the way he is. Mm. He's not broken. Mm. Actually, they, they are best of friends. Mm. This is the way he is. And he helped Victor a lot, even in so many things. Actually, even right now, he's his voice. Wow. You will come, you find them, Nini Victor starts, because even now he's, he's, I don't know, can say preverb or what, because he'll only speak on a need to basis. Mm. You will not sit and have a conversation with him, mm. but he will wake up and tell you, eh, Nataka food. Mm. Ama, he will tell you, I want this, Ama, whatever, he'll tell you what he wants, mm. but you'll not have a conversation. Mm. But after the conversation, if he's still irritated and all that, the other one will tell you, if, and what he'll tell you is true, is mm. what the brother needs and everything. Mm. So he became his best, for him, that was his best friend, that was his, uh, there was nothing wrong mm. with him. So actually, it was good and bad in a way. Because mm. when they were together, Victor could not even attempt to talk. Because mm. now this one will rush and start saying, and this one was like, one day I remember, we, we, we were going somewhere. And then I stopped to talk to a lady, and I got out and I went to speak. So when I was coming back, I found kids in the estate surrounding them. Mm. And then the kids were saying, Uyu, haongeangi. Uyu, brother Alex, haongeangi, si you mm. what? And Alex is very happy. And now, I mean, Victor is very happy. And the brother is explaining, Apana, you know, he's sick, like, you know, he talks and all that. And I was like, Ale, Victor, why would you let kids just discuss you? They say, you kitu. Mm. You know, you say, my kitu and all that. So, for an, I mean, I feel for an older child, the experience until now when he matures and yeah. understands what is going on, it is different. Mm. But for this other younger one, mm. the experience is it's another experience because mm. he he wants to go even going to the shop and all that. He wants to go with his brother even when wow. he was smaller. Wow. Take me, mm. do this to me and everything. Mm. So I got a baby, mm. but the problem continued. Just like you're saying, I had nowhere to offload. So what used to happen, if I had to go somewhere, I'm calling the house girl to ask about Victor and I have a small baby. You see now? Because yeah. now I'm like, the small baby is okay. Mm. But now Victor is the one all the time I'm worried. Is he okay? Mm. Is he whatever and everything? Mm. And so my child grew. God is so good. He, he could learn properly and he was integrated. Oh. So what they used to do when, when they're integrating them, 
they used to go to the the, the regular school mm -hmm. with a, with their special needs teacher. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are like three of them, and then they are taken to the to the other side to learn and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. But now coming to class five and six, you know how eight four four is. Yes. And this is a special needs child. Mm -hmm. Now it started getting to him. Because now the teacher wants to simplify what they've been taught. Because they are being taught, they used to sit at the back with their teacher. They are like three or four mm. with their teacher. And then there's the other teacher who is teaching, mm. the regular and all that. But now, even the homework and everything, the teacher will try to simplify for them and all that. Victor doesn't want that. Uh. And now when he doesn't want that, he's overwhelmed. Mm. The workload, at times, he, no, it, by the time he was getting to class six, it was so bad. There are times he could just wake up and cry and cry, you know. He's mm. just, but now when you give him a break from school, mm. now after two days he, he wants to go back and mm. everything. So in, eventually I knew we need to, to get something for him. Mm. This is because I remember we used to be told a story of a child who did so well. They, they, they even became verbal, they did everything and class eight and all that. Mm. And going to high school, they had a, a breakdown completely. Now they don't talk, they don't do anything, everything overwhelmed that child. Mm. And so I was worried about that. I knew if eventually we have to know what to do with him mm. and get him out of, now to, to get him somewhere else. Unfortunately, special private schools are very, very expensive. Yeah. They are expensive. At times, honestly, I feel it's like exploitation. Because hmm. it's not like this child is getting healed or anything. Hmm. It's really... Learning to manage is what you they know, are doing. You know, really expensive. Charging expensive. They are charging very expensively and all that. And uh, eventually, we, 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 we moved him from there to a place where things are simpler hmm. and all that and everything. Uh, but at times, as a parent, you feel kind of disappointed because mm. what happens, uh, most of these schools where they are, they have many, many uh, special needs. A, a, a wide variety of Yeah, a wide variety of, of special needs, mm. especially like, uh, let's say, dyslexia yeah. and autism. Mm. You see, these are two different conditions. Mm. Mostly children with dyslexia, the issue is only books, mm. reading. Mm. It's just the reading. But this is a verbal child, takes instruction, does everything and all that. So most of the time, mm. they'll have advantage over an autistic child. Because mm. whereas an autistic child may have their own um, special giftings and yeah. all that, mm. although autism is very, I mean, is wide. When mm. you know one child with autism is one child with autism. Because mm -hmm. it's so, you know, it is mm. so different for everybody and all that. So I could feel like he's, he's uh, being left out. Mm. You know, there are very many opportunities. I was feeling there are opportunities. But again, I feel like it's easier to deal with the ones who have dyslexia mm. or other conditions than this one. Because, you know, an autistic child is, is uh, maybe taking instructions and all that. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Compared to where he was before, it was just exclusively autism. He could participate in games. He could. He was really good in running, bicycle riding, all that and everything. And I was expecting the transition and all that. And I could see the opportunities and all that. But all in all, there were other things he was doing which were good and everything. And 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 life went on. So one of the heartbreaks I got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one day we get home from school, and it's a very hot day. Mm -hmm. So I decide, and I, that time I don't know where my house girl had gone. Mm. So I decide, let me take a shower. Mm. And I leave Victor eating. I warmed his food, you eat, I'm mm. taking a shower. The next minute, someone is screaming, Mama Victor, see you what, Nini? So me, I get out. I'm, I'm finding a neighbor calling me, asking me, what have you done? See you what, God, hey. See, I dress quickly. Mm. See, I get out. You know what happened? Mm. When I was showering, mm -hmm. what you forget, this child, despite all these issues, is still normal. Mm. This child sees everything you do. Mm. Actually, they even have a photographic memory. 
Oh. When you're going anywhere, he'll go telling you left, right, and he'll direct you actually. Mm. Left, right, and everything. My son was in Jiri school mm. in Moranga. Mm. And Victor used to school somewhere on Thika Road. Mm. So every time when we get to school, he used to tell me no. He, want, he always used to point, he wants us to, to proceed. Mm. So that's the day Victor thought of proceeding. Mm. Victor went into my handbag. He got the car keys. He went, he started the car. He reversed, how I don't know. And he started driving. But he was driving so fast that when he took the corner, he went and crashed in people's cars and crashed into the neighbor's gate. Sorry, had he driven before? Where? On the observation to Where? Hey, I... oh. Where? Hmm. Me, I'm telling you now, me, I'm seeing now my child is dead. You know, I'm waiting because now I can already see the damage, hmm. what is happening. But when I got to the corner, I found him seated. He had been removed from the car and he was seated there. Mm. And there was a very angry man. The there. one who crashed the car? The one now. First of all, he's now, <laughs> this is uh, a, <laughs> you know, who whatever and all that. And I'm telling you, thank God, let me tell you. That's what I'm telling you, these kids work with angels. Mm. God is so good that he was not injured at all. And he didn't injure anybody, and kids ride, and I, the play, imagine. and everything. But he crashed people's cars, he crashed <laughs> people's gates. Why are we laughing? And they called the police on <laughs> me. Guy. <laughs> they called police. But the police. Like but by now they should they have don't picked Victor no, as a special they, needs no. child. No, let me tell you, unfortunately, you lead a very private life. I won't lie to you. Hmm. People don't want to know. Actually, you listen to the stories because we have forums. Mm. It's very, very sad. That when your child is hollering, making noise, and say, you, you know, what? stories, things. Today's age. Yes. So you try to keep it yeah. very, you know, you try to keep, and that's why you want to stay in your own, in your own compound all mm. the time in everything. Mm. So I wouldn't like, and, and it was on the other side of the estate. So actually mm. the only people who knew maybe were just my immediate neighbors. Mm. But the other side, they didn't know. He, the guy, he's like, no, this is a police case. We are calling the police. We are doing what? You know, it became, so I told them, this one, first of all, he's a child. He's a mm -hmm. minor. Mm -hmm. So if you want someone arrested, I will go. Yeah. I will be arrested. How careless are you? What? How, what, nini, nini? And I'm like, how long have I, you know, you try to explain. Nobody, nobody is giving you a listening ear. Yeah? And I was given a dress down, let me tell you. And the chat, the story was taken to the estate group chat. And of course, they ranted about the way children are raised badly, parents who what? Are. And you're still in this forum. And all that. After they had finished ranting, and then they had a chance to see this child, find out what autism is. This is what is happening. That's what you told them. This is what is happening and everything. So it was explained how they started coming. Now, you know how people are. So, you know, you know mob, mob mentality. Know. Mob mentality. So, we had to pay people's cars. Now, I'm trying to imagine. They mm -hmm. felt shame on me. They when didn't. They, uh, I, I don't think they like did. Like what now? Because they don't understand. That's why we need education. Even after someone saying... No! They don't understand what is autism. So you, where were you when yeah, that you was happening? Been, uh, yeah, if you knew your child has a condition, hmm. where did you leave your car keys? Oh, no. yeah? Where did you leave your car keys? Hmm. So that was one of the worst things that has ever happened. And hmm. you know, it breaks your heart. And you know, those are the fears every time you're afraid, what will happen to this child? Because hmm. even after all this has happened, he's still not independent. He's still not really aware of danger, he mm. can he can elope, he can, you know, do all those things. And and, and, and then uh, two years later, <laughs> the father went to pick him from school. That one I remember very well. Mm. Yeah? Mm. When he went to pick him, he can't be found. Mm. And you know, when you're walking through the gate, the watchman sees them and everything. He's nowhere to be found. Mm. Now, like, how? How did he decide? I'm being called at all, how? 
So I told him, maybe he walked. And since he has a photographic memory, I knew he'll come home. He'll walk one way or the other. Mm. Let me just come all the way out of Ring Road, all the way. Mm. He will come. Nowhere. So it was a search party. Mm. Kasarani. Mm. Where? Everywhere. Mm. We started writing. You know, within one hour, you think two hours, three hours, mm. nothing. Then a lady writes me and tells me, someone has told me, they saw a child like Victor, they are Trisambu, mm. surrounded by bike guys and a cop. Mm. I was like, guy, did they give, give him more justice? Because mm. you see, if he's thirsty, he'll just go somewhere and pick water. By he doesn't have water. Oh, yeah. You know those things, you're worried and all that now. And now you're pleading, you're telling God. Now, may your angels surround him. May your angels around him. So you're there now. You don't even know how you're feeling. Not even, things make you numb. You don't know, are you coming? Are you mm. going? Or gone. Or gone. Then at 9 p.m., I got a call. Hello, uh, uh, do you know somebody called Victor? I was like, yes, I do. Mm. You have him. He's lost. Like, yes, there's a boy here. He's refusing to talk to us. I found him walking in the field. That is Njiri school. Njiri school. From Roisambu. What? Njiri school at 9 p.m. Where the brother was, where he always wanted to go. Even the other time he crashed the car. When As I asked him where going. he was going, and then God he crashed the car, because now where would he have gone? Imagine. So he would have gone to crash with four travelers. Mm. So, <laughs> I told him, and you know, you know the, the headmaster could not understand. Mm. I told him that's my son. Mm. So I explained to him everything. That's why he's not talking to you. We are coming for him. S sorry. I'm trying to imagine. So How did, did he get there? Yes. I think we'll know when we get to heaven. <laughs> and I thank can't... God for whoever. Mm. And you know what? He was intact. He was so clean with his bag. Thank God he had his bag because they got that from his diary. You know, oh, now the yeah. diary now but has you can't even the cont. He can't say the phone number, nothing. But I know he, whatever he did, he said in Jiri school. So maybe they thought this kid is drugged or whatever, or whoever, whichever good. And at some point, I know he, he was, uh, he had a ride on a border border. Cause he, t he said, and he came with an energy drink. Somebody had bought him an energy drink. So <laughs> angels live around us. Mm. And that time we, we had panicked. We had looked for him and everything and all that. And that had never happened. And I would never think that he'd do such a thing. And you know now, when we used to go for visiting, mm. we used to go to the field. Mm. So even when he got there, he went to the field. That's where you say that they're used to a certain pattern. Yes, a certain things, pattern. And that's what they adopt. So that really used to get to him. So at the end of the day, this child, Akona Akili, mm. he's thinking. So actually, at times, they even spoiled. Because at times, I could tell even when he was younger, this, this, this just being a brat. And I could beat him. Like now, this is misbehavior. I could tell when it's when, when it's meltdowns mm. and when you're just this being... Because at the end of the day, this is still a child. Mm. So this child, don't think he does, does not understand that he knows after primary school, you go to a high school. Okay. Him, he wanted to go to Njiri school, okay. where he bro his brother was. Mm. Me, I've taken him to another school mm. instead of Njiri. where he wanted to go. So, <laughs> uh, God is good. God will answer that question of how. That's why we'll know how he Because he met to... angels. Whoever paid for him. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm actually trying to imagine. Huh? And he's using public means. And he's course. using public means. From Kangare to go to Njiri, you have to take a, a boda boda. Because it's a long, you know. So whoever God used I don't know. And, you know, and he was fine. What? He was completely fine. No hair saying? on his, nowhere. He was not, you know. What you're simply saying is autistic children are very smart. They are very, they're, it's only that they cannot. Yeah, but it ranges. It. Mm. Autistic, they are, they are low functioning mm, mm. and they are very high functioning. Asperger's, those ones are the geniuses. Mm. They are the music geniuses. They are the Albert Einsteins, you know. There's those who are just very 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 sharp and everything and he can talk and all that and at times there are regular people who you think mambo mingi na very bright mm. but maybe earlier we never used to have those 
yeah. you know, tests to know what is going on mm. and everything and all that. So, uh, COVID, we do online, online schooling and everything. And he's able to sit and on a Zoom meeting class. Yes, he used to do that. He used to do that. Okay. And um, after COVID, uh, we never went back to school. Okay. Because now, he was uh, 17 now. Mm. And now, uh, you like now, we want to stop this. This is now a routine. And that is the worry. One thing you worry about tomorrow. Mm. What if I'm not here tomorrow? What will, that is a fear of every parent with a special needs child. Mm. What will happen if I'm not here, if his father is not here? Mm. So what happened, um, you, you want to, wanted to, to enhance life skills mm. and other things. So we, we decided he stays home. And, and actually even at that particular time, I decided I no longer want a house help. Because mm. now this is a man. A full grown man. This is a full grown man. And yeah. I had had stories now. Because now you, he can be abused now. Yeah. You will think they're having a good relationship with the girl. And, every, and now, that's what I'm telling you now. With now a new age mm. comes new Challenge. challenges. Yeah. And before that, actually, you know, you never stop hoping. Mm. I can't tell you the many prayer places you have gone to be prayed for. And you'll be taken advantage of. There's a time we were even going for, oh, they're called holistic, holistic healing. Did you, what they are, what are they called? Mm. Something he's tied to, to a machine. I don't know with water. I don't know, ions and atoms. Did you water? Did removing the water, and putting the water. I don't know the water comes out with those bad things and all that. I remember. I can't remember what it was called. Mm. You try everything. And then in 2018, we heard about stem cell, mm. stem cell therapy. Mm. And uh, what you told about stem cell, that uh, when he's injected with the, their own stem cell, they'll go and renew the, the, the damaged uh, brain cells and everything and all that. We did a fundraiser. We went to India. Thank God we did the stem cell. It was successful and all that. And we came back, mm -hmm. and um, I don't regret, but the major change that took place is just he buffed up. He used to be very tall and thin. Oh. Now, he became big. Heavier. Yeah, he became now, he's a, he's a big boy, but mm. the healing we were expecting Did not. never happened. And, and, and you know that's the problem. You keep... Probably you're comparing mm. it now. What you are expecting is what is you see with your first mm. and your last. No, 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 no. Mm. Um, because even the therapies you were given and all that and all mm. that, he had achieved so much of that. Mm. So they still, you know, we always hope for a miracle. Even today, mm. you've never, you never, so long as you're alive, you mm. never stop thinking and all that. So we decided, ah, uh, let's see what we can do. Mm. So we stayed home. We started baking. He doesn't really like baking. He's very good with gadgets and computers and everything, but mm. but he helped me and he loves when I'm decorating. Mm. He loves that very much and everything, but uh, he's fully independent. So, like learning the basic survival skills, mm. bathing himself. Yes. Probably washing a little bit, like handkerchiefs. He washes not handkerchiefs. He'll wash everything. Even clothes. He can wash clothes. He'll wash the house and bathing he will himself. He the carpet. Yeah. He's so, the cleanest in my house. So there's a time then this hyperness slows down. Yeah, now down. in fact that's it. Now, right now, he eats everything. Oh. Right now we don't have special diet in my house. Okay. So even the healing, I usually tell God, I think you heal you you heal in a different way. Exactly. You know, it's not the way you're thinking, mm. but today we don't take special diet. Mm. The bread you were so deprived of for so many years, he loves bread. Mm. He will eat, he lets everybody eat, and then he'll take the rest. And, or he even wants to, like, no, you're eating too much. Mm. People will miss and all that. So he eats everything. Mm. He's very organized. Mm. You know, that I told you he's a stickler yeah. for stuff and everything. So mm. there's a time he showers. There's a time for taking his towel out. There's a time for unhanging. Okay. And actually, he'll even be taken advantage of by his siblings because uh, he's very, very mm. industrious. He's hardworking. Mm. If you understand him, now the problem comes when you leave him with somebody who is not understanding yeah. him. Because now the tantrum you're saying he's throwing is because he's not really fully able to 
tell you what he wants. Mm. Maybe he'll say one word and he even makes tea. He wake up yeah. early and make tea for us. Mm. Yes. And he can cook. He can cook eggs. Wow. He can cook eggs. The food is it's only that I've never let him cook the yeah, whole yeah, yeah, yeah. whole meal and everything and all that. Mm. But he's really really independent. So now that you've said mm. 2019 you opted no more back to school. 20 after after, after COVID. After the COVID, yeah, yes. After COVID. So what is he engaging in? Uh initially there was a, a college that mm -hmm. was offering um what do you call it? was offering uh, computer courses mm. for autistic individuals oh. at subsidized rates. And I don't know if it's been uh, government sponsored or mm. something. Somebody mm. has sponsored it, so it's subsidized. Mm. And it was for autistic yeah. children. Mm. Now, we take our child. Because mm. now, uh, the basics is does this child understand computers? Mm -hmm. Can this child operate a computer? Mm -hmm. This this child will give him homework, he'll do with a laptop and everything and all that. And he went, but they refused to pick him. I told you we are disadvantaged parents who have autism. Mm. Cause what happens, uh, I can be very good in computers and all that, but I'm, I, my communication is lacking. Oh, yeah. mm. So the excuse they gave was that they just don't want to teach them to to whatever to 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 do computers because after that they were saying big organizations can absorb them who understand them mm. to work and everything but now they say they want someone they're going to teach how to they'll come with them to town and show them where to get a matatu to go home and all that okay. that was the disqualifying so at times you just see i feel the disadvantage you all get and I, and and I, and I've had other parents saying the same thing. Because mm. just like you are saying, there's low functioning, mm. there is um, very high functioning. Victor is middle. He, he's not very Mild. high functioning. Mm. He's not low functioning. Mm. He's very good. He's very good with work. And actually, you know, he, he was good in, uh, even in maths and everything and all that. He's good. So if you took him to a class, mm. you're teaching him Excel, he will know how to do Excel. You're teaching him PowerPoint, mm. he will understand, he will learn. But now when you, if, if you know what autism is, mm. you will not attach a condition that for autism, very few individuals can be able to do that. Yeah. You know now. Mm. So that was one of our main targets. What? It did not happen. And now there are other courses coming up. There was another one, you know, uh, basic manufacturing. Well, you know, your, your child's, um, your child's strength. Mm. Things you know, at times he's not a handyman that yeah. he wants to whatever and all that and everything. So um, we are still praying, we are still exploring I, I, where we'll go. He's, he, we've not been going to whatever. And anyway, right now he's turning 20. Mm. So you see, that, that's what I was avoiding. I was avoiding the disappointment because, yes, he can go to school up to 30, mm. but it's, it's now routine. Yeah. And this is money. Mm. This is money, this is money, and it's a lot of money that you and you have other children, mm. you have other needs and all that and everything. Mm. But uh, where we are, we are good. Mm. Um, and, and we are praying for opportunities, we're still looking for opportunities. I'm sure they'll open up yeah. and probably God can use you mm. to model opportunities mm. for autistic children. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the shoe wearer knows where the mm. shoe pinches most. Mm -hmm. And uh, you never know, mm. God might be guiding you to a place where, mm. having gone through this journey, mm. you understand the need, the specific need mm -hmm. particular. Mm. Because all through the story, what I'm hearing is like, out here we assume we understand, No, we don't. but in actual mm. sense, we yeah. are clueless. Clueless, insensitivity, and especially family, yeah. friends, mm. I mean society, mm. and even the government. Yeah, I remember oh, when we were in city primary school, we really lobbied. And we were parents who went everywhere, you know, you, you go and register mm. uh, and then you go, we went to Ministry of Health, we went to um, this ABC place where there's a PDK, mm. there's, there's an office there where they take care of the, the, the them specialist. and you're supposed to, actually you're supposed to be even given like school fees mm. to pay for them and everything. Mm. And I remember that girl looked at us, we were four parents. You know, very, very rude. Like, how did you end up in such an office? If it's about the government, there are so many things. You're not supposed to be taxed. 
you're taking care of that such a child tell me that's why you know that's why even the baking came in because I mean, where we, where, I mean, it's so taxing. Mm. And if it's involving for you, who else will take care of that child? Mm -mm. You see, it, it, it bogs you down. So at times you, you need whatever you're doing to be flexible, mm. where you can be working together with this child or everything. It's supposed to be that. Wow. Yeah? Okay. This is, this is our journey. We, mm. we, I think globally, Kenya, mm. even in Kenya, we yeah. still have a long way to go. Yeah. So for you to take care of yourself, mm. self-care, mm -hmm. What are some of the ways that you have adopted along the way? Mm. Of course, you practically learn on the job mm. to take care of yourself mm. as faith mm. that you don't crash along the way. Because you say it when you, you realize you've got to be strong for everybody and not just strong but super strong. Mm -hmm. So what has faith done to take care of herself? Let me tell you, it's the time I'm learning. Oh. Yes. It is the time I am learning. Mm. I am learning to try, start saying yes to me. Yeah. Yes. So life had come to a standstill. To a standstill. Stand now I am learning to stop saying no. Mm. To making an excuse why I can't come for that interview. Mm -hmm. Why I can't go for that function. Mm. Why I can't. Because now everybody does not understand you. Because now you're like, what will happen? What will? Mm. What will and all that and everything. So I am learning. Because actually for a long time I had like lost memory. And I read somewhere, I think when you're, you're, you're taking caregivers most of the time mm. to protect yourself, at times it's like some of the very bad memories, you block them. Mm. I could meet somebody, we were in college or high school together. Mm. They think I am pretending. I cannot remember you. Mm. Like why you pretend? I can't. Mm. Or somebody is telling me an incident. You don't, you're telling me about, we were together somewhere. Mm. We had gone for, you know, I'm asking, are you, are you sure? Me and you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I can remember we went, but I don't remember that that particular, that particular incident, incident mm. taking place. So, I am learning. Mm. I am learning if I don't take care of myself, yeah, yeah, uh, who will take care of this child. So, at times, we get lost, mm. and now I am starting to say yes to me. Mm. Yes. Wow. It's a learning process. No wonder it's today you looked very bright, eh? Mm. Very bright. So, along the way, after you left your job, mm. now we come to this. Mm -hmm. This is the enjoyment part, eh? Mm -hmm. This grew. Yes. The baking grew. Mm. What really inspired you to do this? Now, baking again mm. was born of the same thing. Mm. Um, now, when you went to that school, they don't take gluten. Okay. So, what do you pack for him? to eat for break mm. with his whatever. So that's when now uh, I started making gluten-free cakes. Oh, so these are gluten-free? No, these are not gluten-free. Oh. I'm telling you now where it, okay. it, the, 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 the thing came from. Mm. So other parents where he used to be not, noticed that used to come with cakes. Ah. So I asked him, where do you buy cakes? Uh -huh. I'm like, I bake them. Mm. Like, so you bake for me. Bake, so, I approached the school and they allowed me. So as I take him, I could bake many and they could buy wow. from from the kitchen. Mm. And that's and then now Posa telling me, now you, why don't you mm. bake? And again I was praying. Mm. I was telling God now, surely I can't go back to the job market. Yeah. I've lost so many years and mm. everything. So that is where that is where baking came from. Mm. And so there yeah, are baking classes, mm. YouTube. Mm. And here we are. And here, I, so and I'm a home baker. Mm. So I, I bake from home so that I, I can take care of things at home mm. and bake. See, this is where they say when life gives mm. you lemons, make lemonade. Make lemonade yes. out of it because this has grown. I've mm. come across these cupcakes mm. somewhere in very many places, mm. which is a sign of growth. Mm. And we bless the Lord. So as we finish, what would be your word to? A parent who has just realized that their child is a special needs child and probably they are at the place where you are mm. and they are looking at you and wondering are you sure mm. I can get to where you are mm. encourage them what I can tell that parent mm. is to be strong mm. I can only encourage them to be very very strong to know they are the only strength that child has yeah they are the only voice that child has mm. Because if you don't love your child, who else will? Yeah. And to tell them it will get easier. You know, it, and one step at a time. Without, just live one day at a time. One day without tantrum, 
we thank God. Yeah. It gets easier. And as they grow, mm. things get easier. Today, I'm not buying any special need food. Mm. We don't have any special need food. We don't do supplements. We don't do whatever. I know, I understand autism is varied because mm. they can have other complications and all that. But all I can tell the parent, please love your child, give your best for your child, and don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up. Mm. It will get easier. Wow. Mm. Regardless of where you are mm. in this journey, probably you just discovered that your child has a special need. It may not be autism, but something else, and you're feeling crushed. I want to echo our words and say, regardless of what life has offered you, remember, never give up. Stay strong. And I also want to tell you, keep trusting God, because in your lowest moment, he's able to lift you up and help you to go through the challenge. And guess what? One day, one day probably you'll sit on one side like faith is encouraging another mother and cheering them to keep going, to keep loving their child, because that child, the only different thing about them is that they have a special need. Otherwise, they're a child just like any other child. Love on them, keep loving them, and trusting God that every day there'll be some improvement and some growth and some progress, and you'll be able to do life differently and of course with a cheerful heart. Otherwise, God bless you. Sasa wacha tufanya iji. Tuzime kamera. Tukule ikeki. Kwa sabu ni keki ya ukweli. This is not a dummy. This is the part we get to enjoy when the cameras go off. Otherwise, see you next time.